Vigils were held last night in Indianapolis for the eight victims gunned down in a mass shooting at a FedEx facility. The suspect is a former employee who last worked for the company in 2020. So far, investigators are not saying if he knew any of the victims. CBS 4's Nikki Batiste joins us now for more from Indianapolis. Mourners gathered in Indianapolis Saturday evening to remember the victims of the FedEx rampage. Komal Chohan lost her 66 year old grandmother, and today she was supposed to celebrate her engagement. Just anything, I don't know, I just feel so empty. I feel like this is supposed to be one of the biggest days of my life. Police say eight people from age 19 to 74 were gunned down by former FedEx worker Brandon Hole. A year ago, the teen's own mother had reported him to local police, saying he might try to die by suicide by cop. Authorities say Hole was put on a mental health detention, interviewed by the FBI, and a shotgun was taken from his home. On Saturday, Hull's family issued a statement offering, quote, sincerest and most heartfelt apologies to the victims and saying, we are devastated at the loss of life caused as a result of Brandon's actions. Through the love of his family, we tried to get him the help he needed. Thursday night, police say the suspect began firing in the parking lot where he gunned down four people. There was no confrontation. Uh, with anyone that was there. There was no disturbance. There was no argument. He just appeared to randomly start shooting. Authorities say he then entered the facility and killed four more before turning the gun on himself. 74 year old John Weissert's wife showed us his photo just before learning he died in the massacre. He does his job at starting at 5 30. So that was it. I just said goodbye, have a good evening. I said that to him a couple days and a couple times and he was gone. The couple was married nearly 50 years. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Indianapolis. And while investigators search for clues and evidence, Hull's motives remain unclear.